Hi my dears welcome back to our maths class are you doing well okay very good in the last class we have discussed some activities based on weights today's activities are also the continuation of previous class activities let's start our today's class let's do the first question ravi runs a restaurant he wants 4 kilograms and 650 grams of rice for putt and 2 kilograms and 850 grams of rice for appam what is the total weight of rice needed the cost of grinding 1 kilogram of rice is 10 rupees what is the total cost of grinding first we have to find out the total weight of rice needed for putt and appam what is the weight of rice needed for putt yes 4 kilograms and 650 grams so weight of rice needed for putt equals 4 kilograms 650 grams what is the weight of rice needed for appam yes 2 kilograms and 850 grams so weight of rice needed for appam equals 2 kilograms 850 grams then total weight of rice equals 4 kilograms 650 grams plus 2 kilograms 850 grams to do this arrange kilogram and gram as shown here then write 4 below the kilogram and 650 below the gram then write 2 below the kilogram and 850 below the gram just like normal addition add these together 0 plus 0 0 5 plus 5 10 right 0 here 1 carry over 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 8 15 right 5 here 1 carry over 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 2 7 that is total weight of rice is 7 kilograms 500 grams children listen to the next question the cost of grinding 1 kilogram of rice is 10 rupees what is the total cost of grinding what is the cost of grinding 1 kilogram of rice yes 10 rupees so cost of grinding 1 kilogram of rice equals 10 rupees here we have to grind 7 kilograms and 500 grams of rice so we need to find out the cost of grinding 7 kilograms and 500 grams of rice you know the cost of grinding 1 kilogram of rice is 10 rupees so how much rupees is needed for grinding 7 kilograms of rice yes 7 times 10 rupees that is cost of grinding 7 kilograms of rice equals 7 into 10 equals 70 rupees now we have to find the cost of grinding 500 grams of rice children you know 1000 gram is 1 kilogram so 500 gram is yes half kilogram you know cost of grinding 1 kilogram of rice is 10 rupees then what is the cost of grinding half kilogram of rice yes very good half of 10 rupees that is 5 rupees so total cost of grinding rice equals 70 rupees plus 5 rupees 75 rupees see the next question 12 kilograms and 500 grams of jaggery was bought and from this 9 kilograms and 250 grams was used to make paisa how much is left jaggery is a solid dark sugar made from sugar cane what is the total weight of jaggery bought yes 12 kilograms and 500 grams so total weight of jaggery bought equals 12 kilograms 500 grams how much jaggery was used to make paisam yes 9 kilograms and 250 grams so weight of jaggery used to make paisam equals 9 kilograms 250 grams here we have to find out how much jaggery is left children how do we find it yes very good subtract each other that is weight of jaggery left equals 12 kilograms 500 grams minus 9 kilograms 250 grams to do this arrange kilograms and grams as shown here then write 12 below the kilogram and 500 below the gram then write 9 below the kilogram and 250 below the gram then subtract each other 0 minus 0 0 we can't subtract 5 from 0 
so we have to borrow 1 from 5 then 0 becomes 10 and 5 becomes 4 10 minus 5 5 4 minus 2 2 then subtract 9 from 12 that is 12 minus 9 3 that is weight of jaggery left equals 3 kg 250 g let's do the next question when 15 kg and 500 g of wheat was washed and dried the weight was reduced by 1 kg 350 g find the weight of the wheat now here the total weight of the wheat is 15 kg and 500 g that was washed and dried that is before drying the weight of the wheat is 15 kg and 500 g that is weight of the wheat before drying equals 15 kg 500 g see children after drying the weight of the wheat was reduced by 1 kg 350 g reduced means decreased so weight of the wheat reduced equals 1 kg 350 g here we have to find out the weight of the wheat now how do we find it yes subtract each other so weight of the wheat now equals 15 kg 500 g minus 1 kg 350 g to do this arrange kilograms and grams as shown here then write 15 below the kilogram and 500 below the gram then write 1 below the kilogram and 350 below the gram then subtract each other 0 minus 0 0 we can't subtract 5 from 0 so we have to borrow 1 from 5 then 0 becomes 10 and 5 becomes 4 10 minus 5 5 4 minus 3 1 15 minus 1 14 so children weight of the wheat now equals 14 kilograms 150 grams i hope you all understood today's class very well you should do this exercise question in your rough notes today's class is over see you in the next class thank you